going to prove to you without a shadow of a doubt that Aaron Deering is in fact a lost man. He is not saved. Uh, I've had no doubts that the guy is not saved in the past, but this clip I'm going to show you proves that he is works righteous and he is not saved. Now I want to first point out that no, I am not easy believism. I believe that there is repentance, obviously. For God the sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrow of the world worketh death, obviously. When you come to Christ, you come and basically God the sorrow, you realize you're a sinner. But where Aaron goes wrong is he says that every person who gets saved must be weeping and crying or else they were not saved. Um, that's works. Because it's saying that God will not save you unless you are weeping and crying. And you're going to see in this clip that Aaron says, oh, you know, these Dunlinger, he's, he's like, he's obviously answering my claim that he's saying that you have to be weeping and crying to be saved. And he says, quote, how else are you going to humble yourself before the Lord? So basically what he's saying is that it's not enough to realize that you're a sinner and you can't save yourself. You, see it's all about you, you have to be weeping and crying and then God will save you. See, it's all about you. See, was I weeping and crying? Was I weeping? Was I on my knees bawling my eyes out? It's works. He is backloading works, thus proving he is a lost man. He is not simply saying it's you realize you're a sinner and you can't save yourself because that's what the Denling rights say. Basically, the Denling rights, they go beyond just simply you realizing you're a sinner and you can't save yourself. They say you have to be a broken, just wrecked person, which is ridiculous because I'm going to show from scripture, there are several examples in scripture of people who got saved and were not weeping and crying and some of them had their lives going just fine and they got saved. So by saying that this has to happen, they have to be weeping and crying, it is essentially backloading works. Because it's saying, realizing you're a sinner and you can't save yourself is not enough, you, see it's all about you, it's again it's what you do, you have to be weeping and crying. Aaron is a lost man, he needs to get saved. So here's the clip. Oh, these definitely are right to say you have to be crying and bawling your eyes out to be saved. Well, how else are you going to humble yourself to the Lord? So you can see he's putting it all on himself. And I, I had someone tell me that Aaron is, is doubting his salvation, that he was doubting his salvation in the past. He was like, was, was, I, was I broken enough? Was I weeping enough? See, it's all about him. It's all about, was I weeping enough? Was I broken enough? Was I, was I, I, I? See, it's not about Jesus Christ. It's not about, I'm a sinner, Jesus Christ saved me. It's, was I weeping enough? Was I crying enough? Aaron Deering is a lost, hellbound sinner. He needs to get saved. And he's proving that he's lost because he's making salvation all about what he does. Was I weeping and crying? So here are some examples in scripture. Just gonna list off some examples. Acts chapter 18, verse seven to eight. Acts chapter eight, verse 35 to 39. Acts chapter eight, verses five to 12. John chapter four, verse seven to 45. Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 40. Acts chapter 13, verse 12. And Acts 17, verse 34, all have examples of people getting saved without weeping and crying and bawling their eyes out. Because, see, this is where heretics like Aaron go wrong. Is they say, there's gonna, they basically make it seem like there's going to be some carbon copy reaction that everybody will display to salvation, which is not true at all. Again, it goes back to Calvinism. See, Aaron is just preaching Calvinism because he's denying your free will. There's not going to be some carbon copy reaction to salvation. People will react differently to realizing they're a sinner. And saying that everyone has to be weeping and bawling their eyes out, it's a wicked heresy and it's dangerous because it can get people to doubt their salvation if they were not weeping and bawling their eyes out enough. Now, given, I'm not saying that people shouldn't be weeping and bawling their eyes out. Obviously, people who get saved, obviously there's no, nothing wrong with weeping and bawling your eyes out. But saying this has to happen or else they were not saved is wrong and wicked. It is Roman Catholicism and saying this, you have to do this stuff first or else God will not save you. So it's not enough realizing you're a sinner and you can't save yourself. It's, I have to realize I'm a sinner, plus be on my knees weeping and bowling my eyes out. Like I said before, Aaron, he is a lost man. He is not saved. And he's proving that he's not saved. Because he's putting salvation, not, not basically, oh, I can't save myself. He's saying, oh, I have to save myself by... Obviously, he's not saying this verbatim, but he's basically saying, you have to save yourself by weeping and bawling your eyes out. See? He's wrong. He's not saved. So don't be deceived by Aaron Deering. He is a very wicked man. He is. I do, I do believe he could be a Jesuit. Uh, and if not, he's a very, very uh, little novice, nasty little brat and little prideful kid 
who has no business teaching the Word of God, especially because he's not saved, obviously. But he needs to get saved. And if, and if he does not get saved, I pray the Lord Jesus Christ shuts his lying, slanderous, wicked mouth once and for all. Because he's attacked saved brethren. He has lied about saved brethren. He has slandered saved brethren. Just like his father, just like his father Satan, in Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, Aaron Deering is an accuser of the brethren. And again, he's not saved. He needs to get saved. And if not, I pray the Lord Jesus Christ closes his lying, wicked, slanderous mouth. Anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Again, just to recap, Acts 18, 7 to 8, Acts 8, 35, 39, 239, Acts chapter 8, verses 5 to 12, John chapter 4, verses 7 to 45, Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 40, Acts chapter 13, verse 12, and Acts chapter 17, verse 34, all contain examples of people who got saved without weeping and crying or doing what Aaron needs, says has to happen for salvation. Aaron is a heretic, and he needs to get saved. So may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren out there. Goodbye. Thank you.